now one may ask why do we need python okay so we begin by highlighting a fundamental concept that is the limitation of raw data the raw data often fails to convey the essential information that we seek now in this particular case we are dealing with temperature anomalies recording over a significant period now when we examine this data as it is it appears to be just a jumble of numbers and which is seemingly devoid of any meaning okay however there is a transformative power when we shift our perspective when we visualize this data as a time series plot suddenly the information leaps off the page we can see some patterns and trends in how the temperature anomalies have evolved over time right but we are not going to stop here to add even more value now we are introducing spatial context through a geospatial map okay also you can imagine this that someone has taken this very data and presented it by country which is spanning from 1880s to 2017 this is the result a visualization that allows us to observe how temperature anomalies varies across both space and time and what's remarkable is that this animation was created using python now you may wonder why use a programming language when you can achieve similar results with already available softwares at the click of some buttons the answer lies in the control and automation because with programming you have complete control over algorithms the data and the execution you can automate your repetitive tasks that are impossible with the traditional softwares that we have you can also extend existing softwares capability by developing your own solutions and when solutions do not exist or when the solutions are inefficient nowadays many software packages offer this ability to extend their capabilities by adding your own short programs for example we can see such things in arcgis google earth and many others so believe it or not but programming is fun it involves breaking complex problems into simpler pieces and it is also helpful in developing a strategy for solving your problem or for testing your hypothesis or solution now once we are clear that why we need coding now we may want to why we need python now python serves as a very versatile tool for water resources or environmental engineering and it makes it accessible for both the beginners as well as the seasoned professionals when we talk about the syntax it stands out with its straightforward and easily readable syntax for instance here is how we might calculate the flow rate in a river using python python's interpreted nature is another benefit you can swiftly pick up python for running small codes sparing you the complexities of compilations that often comes with c++ or c or other such languages and this user friendly approach allows you to get your programs running without losing yourself in compilation issues also python operates as a high level language which means it's closer to human language rather than machine language obviously it will involve a intermediary step that will do the conversion further uh, python is a highly extensible language its vast standard library contains a plethora of modules for diverse tasks should you need additional functionality you can seamlessly extend python with new modules even if they are implemented in a compiled language like c++ or any other another advantage of python is its portability it runs seamlessly across various operating systems including linux mac windows and others you can easily share your code with other users provided that they install the necessary modules Finally last but not the least python is free and open source it does not incur any costs for downloading using or incorporating into your applications this open source nature allows for modifications and redistribution the source code is readily available for your customization enabling you to tailor it to your needs so in this example when people start learning programming they usually begin with this simple tradition printing hello world okay now let's compare 
how these programs look in different languages c c++ and python in c and c++ the syntax might seem complex which can be a bit intimidating for beginners like me you it's like trying to crack a code whereas in contrast python makes it feel as easy as reading plain english it's a language that very much simple to grasp read and understand so hello world can be your gateway into the world of programming made more accessible by python's simplicity i hope you have started getting some essence of python in the next lecture we will learn how to install python on our system thanks for watching